Hi guys, welcome to Mel Scuba World on YouTube. If you are a new viewer, please do not forget to subscribe my channel because I have new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So I'm going to be talking about the pointer. Some call it tank bangers. So first of all, I wanted to ask if you really need these. So a majority of the dive professional, they do have it. And basically, I just wanted to make sure you do it for a purpose. So a lot of us, that deaf professional has a tank banger, which is also called pointers. We use it to actually get attention. For example, maybe currents or giving you a warning that's a trigger fish hitting in front of us or maybe it's nesting season, right? Mating season. So it's mainly to get attention, to give you warning or to give to get you into in between the group so that we stay close as a group. So if you don't need it, if you are not an eco diver, what and ever not for the reason, do not buy pointers for the wrong reason so some people use the pointer to poke on things yeah to flip over the cucumber to look over the shrimp stuff like that you do not use this as an extension for to fix your buoyancy because you're too close to the wall you're too close to the uh, corals you're too close to the rocks you only use this for calling or for emergency if if it's a strong current that you really need to get in between rocks and hold yourself to restore your breathing so that you don't get panic. So for any emergencies like that or situation where you have to get attention under the water, it's acceptable for. But obviously, we as that professional ourselves, we don't really like it because it's too much pointers in the group. It will confuse the group because again, for no reason, you just want to bang it. It's the more is noise pollution because sound travel very fast under the water and basically you scare the aquatic life that you are about to show if you're too noisy so again personally i use the pointer just to get attention if the divers are like stubborn they like trying to be on themselves i'm trying to get attention and call them so or i'm trying to get the divers and telling them there's a current ahead so i'm giving them like a warning to yeah give them a heads up because usually we're the one at the front so we're the one that entered the weather we're the one that see things so yeah again we're just trying to protect you so again if you don't need it do not buy it so there were only the the other reason that I want to make this video is to show you a different type of uh, pointers here. So this one, this two is made from aluminium, and it has different sizes. And for me, I use the small one here if I do a normal like a guiding uh, dive, where um, I just put this on the BCD and obviously like I tuck this in in between um, my BCD so that I don't drag when I go diving and drag it and hit every everything. So that's one thing that you need to be aware of it. So I get really short one that I still can reach to my tank to knock it. Okay. And this one, I use this if, um, let's say, if you go for a survey or you want to measure the giant clamp, is it like within 12 centimeters? So we know the sizes and it has a measurement and it's longer. I don't know if you can see it, the measurement, but there is a measurement here. Uh, maybe you don't see it. But anyway, there is a measurement for this one. It's, it's it's, it's uh, definitely longer. This is more like for survey for me and for any uh, other related uh, reef check stuff. Okay, and this one in particularly is actually heavier and it is made from steel. All right, so it's definitely heavy and when you bang this on the aluminum or a steel, it is definitely louder, yeah? Especially if a lot of your divers are wearing hood or scar for religious ma matter, so you want them to be more alert when you call them. So then I'll use this one. So it all depends on what type of group I have or when I'm guiding or teaching, whatever not. And some of the pointers also have the end of it like a hook. So it's also good 
to like get yourself into a car and then just get hook yourself to a rock obviously we want to only hook to something that is dead not corals because it will not uh have a strong base to help you from hitting the current and you will break the corals that for, that's for sure but definitely for a current or any emergency like where you're too tired you can't uh, fight the current is definitely good but again not to point things flip thing feeding things under the water for example one of the fish behavior here i know for a fact again this year happened they they basically tap the urchins, kill the urchins with these and feed the puffer fish, okay? So obviously the behavior is still the same as last year. So somebody is still definitely feeding this fish and it is not good to entertain your customer like that. So again, fish feeding is not good even with your bread. So do check out on uh, one of my other video under this description and again like if you're trying to kill urchins to fit another fish and you think it's within their diets but again you know you ruin their independent of getting their own food right so when you go diving right even when i just do that to the fish and pointing it the pointer towards him he will just come not because of the shiny thing it's because they associate human with food so again all this fish attack uh, fish biting you is all because of fish feeding so again do not use this as something that is negative towards the environment because it is bad i know again you probably want to think that you want to help them by feeding them whatever not your reason but it is not for a good cause honey please read about it google about it or if you want to know more please look at under my description to understand why is this is bad okay for the environment and the other thing that i wanted to share with you is kind of related to the pointer but it's a tank banger too that let me show it to you here um i have it here as a tank banger so you just shake it so it's to get attention to uh for divers or your dive buddies so that you're calling so again it all depends on what type of purpose for your dive what is the objective of the dive for your dive then do you need it or you don't need it but i just wanted to just briefly talk about the pointer mainly just not for in terms of the length and stuff like that is also for the behavior and using it for a reason okay so thank you so much you guys for watching mel scuba world till then kisses and hugs happy bubbles